it's it's you guys again um so here we are outside it's gonna rain later i love rain for that we're all gonna be inside we're gonna geek out on guitars uh you see this picture of bonnie ray bonnie's guitar was kind of a, a natural finish and she got it back in the 70s and if memory serves she got it out here in minnesota and it's something she's had all her life bonnie her band are all friends of willie's and we love bonnie red you guys do too who doesn't love bonnie red you can tell her slide playing from a mile off you just she just has that sound with that compressor and it's just she's fantastic so one time bonnie was between gigs she had stopped here in town and she asked me to hold this guitar for her for a day or two now i've handled a lot of guitars for artists we've had guitars in the shop from the who jimmy page all kinds of people but this one scared me because it was like her only guitar i mean she had other guitars but she always runs for this old natural finish guitar so having it with me at home this flight case i did not sleep that night uh until i got it back to her and met her at the airport and and there you go but uh, bonnie's a sweet human being a brilliant guitar player and uh we love her so this video is really about new stuff we just got in. This is kind of a cool amp. It is called a Fender 600 amp, which was an early predecessor to the Tweed Champ, um, done in a, like a two-tone. They do make copies of this, but this just came in. These are wonderful collector's items. They sound great. Mark my words, small amps are going up in value. Why? Because we're all at home. Nobody's playing twin reverbs at home, unless you live in a ranch, which then it's a hoot to play. Then we got this in. This, whoa, that is lightweight. This is a completely straight 1963 Strat. So you can see my segue here to the Bonnie Rayet thing. And I have this dilemma because underneath this pick guard, it's an original finish. There is a sunburst finish. Somebody stripped away the finish and under here and under here is still the original sunburst finish. So what does a store owner do? Everything else is straight. Original tuners, original logo, original strap buttons, plate, screws, trim, solder, all of it. Yeah. Uh, we think we're going to refinish it and try to restore it. But I have to say that whole Bonnie Red thing just tugs at me to whether or not we do this. Now, a lot of you guys are using hand sanitizer at home. I want to remind you, as you're using hand sanitizer, which is largely alcohol-based, and then you start playing on this, when you change strings, you may want to use some sort of lemon oil, linseed oil. If you go to a store that sells uh, band instruments, uh, clarinet players who have wooden clarinets use something called boar oil. Now, boar oil, you can buy a small two-ounce jar for, I don't know, eight bucks. But boiled linseed oil generally comes in a big thing. We have lemon oil. You can find lemon oil. Once you take off the strings, you can clean it with steel wool to revive the wood a little bit, and then you can put lemon oil on it. A lot of you are changing strings right now, too, so I'm going to speak to that a little bit. You can see how all guitars, the string comes down at an angle, and it needs to break. So if we were to pluck this string and it were to go back and forth like this, it is A, breaking the magnetic field of a pickup or exciting the top of an uh, acoustic guitar. That breaking angle is important. And so looking at this, which is a bass and it's a little easier to see, when you pluck that string, you can see it out here and the camera will probably amplify it. It's actually doing a circle like this and it's reaching the nut where it stops and goes back and reaches the bridge where it stops and goes back. So that ricocheting effect is important. Now, let's pretend this is a nut, okay? And let's pretend this is a string. That string going back and forth, back and forth. If at some point, that string sits in the nut and it's going back and forth. If your string was like this, obviously it would jump over the nut. So your string needs to be at a breaking angle. So again, I'm going to do this. This is the headstock like this. 
this is the nut, this represents the nut, and this represents the part that goes to the string, okay? So when you wind strings on, I'm gonna make this to be the tuner, okay? When you put strings on, make sure that you're winding below the next wind. Now, I'm not a fan of doubling strings over because it tends to jump. So if you can, you want to wind the string several windings so that when it breaks, it goes at a breaking angle. If you wind up, you're going to find a lot of buzzing. It's going to rattle inside that nut. You need to keep your string windings down so you have a breaking angle. Those of you that play bass know that the A string is a big problem for that. If you don't put enough windings around this post, your string will clog in the nut. It will actually rattle and you're going to get some weird vibrations from it. It needs to go down at a breaking angle. That's why these are here. This string tree is here to create a breaking angle. On acoustic guitars, they have a tapered headstock to bring the breaking angle on the outside strings. They don't put string trees on an acoustic guitar, but electric guitars, this is all about getting a breaking angle. So again, when you change strings, make sure that you don't start and go up, is that you start from the top, and each one should be kind of tight. You don't want it wrapped, because if you bend a string, this could jump a little bit. So a nice, even wrap around the post will give you that breaking angle that you need. So as you're home, changing strings, and now's a good time to do that, make sure you have enough windings around the post. Make sure it's not, don't tie it through because that just creates tuning problems in the future. A nice, even wrap is the way to do it. We'll get into fender tuners later, but um, there you go. There's a little string, Bonnie Rayet, old Strat, old amp video for you before the rain comes.